Real people, real celebrities, real talk. Join the Breakfast Club. Weekday morning, 6 to 10. Morning, everybody. It's DJ NV, Angela Yee, Charlamagne Tha God. We are The Breakfast Club. We got some guests here this morning. Yes. I mean, these guys come here a lot. Paul Wall. What it do? TV Johnny. What's up? And C Stone. Stone. It's going down. It's family right here. What's going on, my brothers? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. What it do? What y'all got going on other than more new icy jewelry? Oh, uh, you mean check season? It's check, check season. season. Check season. That's what we got. Yeah. <laughs> TV Johnny just showed me an Invisalign grill. Huh. You call it Invisalign? <laughs> yes. Invisalign. That's a hit. So, it's not Invisalign. So everybody with a crooked sense. smile can get TV Johnny and Invisalign. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what is that, man? Actually, this is the new one. We actually did it like the baguette. Okay. Straight baguette, invisible set. Like you can see the look like the whole tooth. Okay. With the diamond. Got you. That's well, Charlamagne was on his way to go buy a fake chain the other day. Come no, on, well, man. Don't listen to her. Fake she, chain like uh, a uh, like a uh, Versace chain? Yes. Yeah, okay, okay. Good. Exactly. Yeah. So why you going to say don't listen to me but then agree with it? <laughs> <laughs> You were. But he did. But he, he ended didn't. up buying the real thing. So So he says. We, so we she plug. says. <laughs> to, whatever whatever they want to believe. Yeah. <laughs> but let's whatever talk about believe. let's talk about check season, Paul Wall, because for a lot of people this is not necessarily check season. Yeah. <laughs> so well, the the title first of all came from tax season. You know, tax season everybody get excited about getting free money, but mm -hmm. I don't promote free money. It's I not really free money. It's really yeah, money but that it's you money that you don't taxes. expect. But yeah, you know, but you know, they, <laughs> I, they just how that's how the, the mind frame is. It's tax season coming around. It's free money, but mm -hmm. you know, it ain't about that for me. It's about working hard and getting a check. And a check don't necessarily mean like an actual check that you sign off and you know cash at the bank. A check could be you know just getting just getting money, getting bread, just hustling, grinding, just getting whatever. That's just getting that check. Now, I got an email the other day. It said, uh, can we get Paul Wall and Mike Jones on the show? I said, Paul Wall and Mike Jones are reuniting? But then it, what did it say Ooh. after that? That ain't say nothing. That's Paul it. Then it said, bring one up. It said, bring one up on one day and then the other on the other day. Oh, it did? <laughs> yeah, at oh, the bottom of that email. The follow up. See, uh, that, that's the problem right there. He don't read. So it was a premature, uh, like somebody reunited y'all by themselves? I, I don't know. I mean, it's, I guess since they had us both on the show, they figured that we were just going to be going doing everything together. Like, you know, I guess people assume just because we was on, you know, the songs together on, you know, our history, they just, some people don't know that we're not really that close. Gotcha. You know, it's not, not like it's a, a, a beef thing and nothing like that. It's just, you know, he doing this, whatever he doing, he doing his thing and I'm doing definitely doing my thing. So you performed here in New York, you said SOBs, right? Uh, at uh, uh, Williamsburg Music Hall. Williamsburg Music Hall, yeah. okay. So and Mike Jones was on that show, did y'all speak at least? I didn't even see him. I seen him uh, at Double XL yesterday when mm -hmm. we were leaving out. He was just coming in. We were leaving out. We spoke, said, what's up? You know, ain't no hard feelings on my part at all. You know, some people get it twisted around. They try to twist it around or whatever. I don't know how he feel, but there's no hard feelings on my part at all. We we had a hell of a run together. We made lots of money together. Right. We put on for our city. You know, that's something for me to be proud of, for us both to be proud of. I, you know, I'm just trying to draw from the positivity. You know, we definitely had hard times like anybody, any record label, any anyone who had type any type of movement or uh, journey or, who's been doing it for long enough you're gonna have ups and downs with people but you know ain't no hard feeling y'all even lost weight together yeah. I mean you, you know you worked yours off I don't know what Mike was doing he might have been smoking crack or something no. how did Mike lose his weight was he working out too he said he's subway so, that's the last I heard it was so he's well. Subway. You playing? He's in, you lying? Yeah, I, swear he's God, hey, I swear to God, that's what he, you Google it. That's what it say. We had Trader Truth up here the other day, and he was saying he really messes with you yeah, my and Bun B. And I think everybody else, he felt like just didn't yeah. really support him too much. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's all good. That's my boy, though. He just dropped his new mixtape, too, Trey. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Trey, I am king. And I seen Bun B last night. Houston is all over yeah, the place. Yeah, I think Bun has a show tonight too. Matter of fact, he came out. He came out to the show last night. It was dope. Mano came out. He gave me the official Brooklyn welcome. <laughs> he gave you the pass. Make sure you ain't say nothing crazy, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Remember what happened to Trinidad James? Yeah, boy, yeah. Don't say nothing crazy. Yeah. And then, uh, then uh, after that, you know, um, C Stone and Johnny came out. Um, my boy Stunner Bam, he came out too. He's from Houston. He's out there in the lobby. He uh, he's a new artist from Houston. Uh, we got a song together on, on my on my mixtape check season. Mm -hmm. uh, we performed that. Also, um, man, Bun B came out. Is Houston so, unified, man? I think it's definitely a, a unified thing going on right now, man. It's definitely a unification. It, but you know, I think we realized that we instead of competing with our, ourselves and each other, we should just try to you know grind together and support each other. We've seen it. You know, just the, supporting each other will take us a lot farther. And I think Slim Thug kind of, he kind of uh, mm -hmm. lit the torch for it because he wired me up, wired a bunch of, bunch of us up to you know treat it like a uh, how, how you 
cheer for the Knicks, so you cheer for whatever your sports team is, the Yankees, whatever. That's how we're supposed to cheer for our rappers in the city too, and support each other and want each other to do good and, and not be you know plotting on each other, or sneak dissing and talking down those, those type of things. Yeah, because y'all have nothing to cheer about uh, as far as football is concerned. <laughs> this season, so you might as well cheer for each other. Maybe next year. We're going to do it next year. That's when you know your team is officially yeah. out of all playoff contention. We, we start talking about next year and it's four in the draft. In the season. We start planning on the draft. Absolutely. Like, we that, never wanted the draft right now. The draft was today. So, hey, hey. Yeah, we, we, Davey and Clowney. <laughs> our Johnny Foot. No, Johnny Football would help yeah, y'all, though. Yeah, yeah. Now, do you ever have to call Slim Thug and tell him to chill out on Twitter? Nah, what, 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 are you going in? Yeah, nah. I be wiring them up. I be loving it. It be funny. Yeah, no, Paul Wall and I, we were in this competition, this running competition. I, 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 People were saying you were cheating. Yeah, she said, no, she said you were cheating all the time. A lot of people thought I was cheating, but I wasn't, you know. <laughs> the thing is, on the thing, it, it was just about movement, you know. So I was doing jump roping. So I, See, that doesn't I, you know, count as running. They told me it counted. You know, tell me they that. told me it was just a I could be walking up and down the studio then. Yeah, they, they, they said you're supposed to have it on you at all times, so I'm walking a mile in the airport. That was counting all of that. You oh, know, I so. wasn't doing that. I was only counting when I was running on the treadmill. Yeah, <laughs> so, you know, I just, maybe I just didn't. Um, they were I, like, how did Paul Wall run 22 miles today? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah I was getting it in. I was getting it in on it. I'll tell you, the jump rope. You, gotta, you, put it on, you put it on your wrist and you just do jump rope. Every yeah. day she'd come in and be like, Paul Wall, cheat. I, hey, I did 31 days. <laughs> hey, yeah, that's <laughs> Hey, no, hey, Nori. You ran a marathon Nori, one day. Nori swore I was cheating too. He kept saying, man, somebody cheated. I ain't going to say who, but somebody <laughs> cheated. I was going to say, okay, let me just chill out on my jump rope. Man. But that, you know what? Out. That was a great idea. I think that's something that people could do, like that whole competition, because yeah. it make you really motivated. Because yeah. every day I'd be like, man, look, Paul Wall just put up yeah. 48 miles. Like, yeah. I yeah. <laughs> it was fun. That was definitely fun. We was all into it too, watching each other. And man. your wife is a Zumba fitness instructor? Yeah, she actually, um, she's been doing it for a while now. She lost about close to 80 pounds doing it. And uh, she has her own gym. She started off doing it uh, at the House of Darion mm -hmm. in Music World um, in Houston. And, and she built her clientele up. And she actually um, she did a lot of group fitness training and other aerobics type of dance training, too. She she has her own thing called Mixed Fitness. That's the name of her gym. But it's also like uh, the, the way she do her dancing. And, and Is she it like, like for mixed couples? No. Nah, <laughs> no. <nah, laughs> nah, but it's, it's like a, a mixture. You know, like with Zumba, it's supposed to be 70% Latin music. Uh -huh. And then the rest is like hip hop or belly dance and stuff like that. So what she does, she don't, you know, she does Zumba, but she does her own thing, too, where she do whatever type of dance aerobics to uh, to rap music or mm -hmm. to oldies or, you know, like rolling on the river and stuff like that. <laughs> That she was rolling on her. She, they be out there twerking, but it be like, man, she studied the scientifics of if you hold your stomach in and you do this and you twerk this way, then you can burn more calories. Man, they be burning like 1,100 calories in an hour and uh, So you do Zumba now? What the hell was y'all doing to get so fat? <laughs> hey, that, 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 it's that, Houston, the yeah. food. The food that, that, in Houston? The drink definitely didn't, you know, didn't yeah. didn't stop to being fat. But that, the, you know, the, the food, not exercising, the lifestyle all together just, man. I'm going to start visiting Houston. Like more and more and more. I want some of that food, man. That food sound yeah. good. Yeah. Don't do it. Why are you not fat, Johnny? Are you see stone? Yeah, Johnny. I really try to get fat, but I don't know. Maybe the food does. You know, I don't food about it. You know, I've been eating it. I try to get away for years. What? I never can do it. Why, you want Why do you want to get fat? <laughs> I just literally like put some more weights in there. And some muscle milk, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> so which one of y'all gonna be on Love and Hip Hop Houston, man? We heard we thought Paul Wall and Chris Chris was gonna be on there. Right? I don't know, man. We. I'm trying to stay, we trying to stay drama free, you know what I'm saying? And those yeah, shows yeah. are all based on drama. You know, they're good to watch, but to be a part, involved in a part of them, man, I don't, it's not too successful for marriages, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I just, we But just, you seem pretty good, though. You always been pretty, you know. Yeah, but I mean. As you said, you masturbate all the time when yeah, you're on the road. Yeah, Jack Master P, baby. Yeah. But, you know, FaceTime, <laughs> make it, man, FaceTime took it to a whole nother level now. But now, nah, but, you know, with, with that, it's like, you know, nothing against the people who produce and make them shows, but their job is to bring the drama out of you mm -hmm. and you know I don't like dealing with people who really secretly trying to set me up to be mad on camera or blow me to blow up on camera just cause right. you know right. Right. you hear that Mona <laughs> And you know what though? Talking to you, Scott, yeah, nah, I'm not saying I'm just, I love watching the show. It's just I don't think it'd be beneficial for my marriage or family to be on the show. You know what I'm saying? Word. And all kind of stuff start coming out. You like where did I, that's not even true. Yeah, yeah. You gonna do it, Johnny? Not really on me. Actually, Rama doesn't help me a lot on my business. Yeah. So I try to do some good stuff, some jewelry, diamonds, yeah, and play golf. 
Gotcha. So I don't think yeah. that's half of the show. Yeah, that's boring. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Johnny. <laughs> I, I think Slim Thug said he, he want to be on it, though. He go, I, he oh, Slim Thug would be yeah. great. Yeah, Slim Thug. I'm ready for that. Yeah, I don't think, yeah, I don't know if we need to see all that. I, <laughs> I see that guy in action. Now, as far as Jewelry is concerned, what's popular? What's 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 in the, what's things that people are buying now? What's Cubic the next? Zirconia. I've been doing a lot of stuff. <laughs> I'm not really. <laughs> we don't really, that's not really popular. But we make the coin like this one. Mm-hmm. I don't know how about here, but in my town, it really popular like the solid gold. Mm-hmm. You know, gold is like the price gold is go down right now, mm-hmm. so it's good for investment. And it's twenty four karat gold. Mm-hmm. Oh, the price so, went down right now. Yeah, the price okay. going down pretty well. Mm-hmm. Do people buy a lot and, of stuff um, for like Christmas and stuff. Yeah, but it's a small. It's a, they already can afford too. So now, how much is that pendant like, right there? You you would sell it for like four or five thousand mm-hmm. instead of like make the thirty forty thousand dollar piece. Mm-hmm. So we make something like less than ten thousand. That a lot of people can't afford right. to buy for Christmas. A lot of people so can't. They, we, they just buy like <laughs> small, small piece. And the goal is 24 karat gold. Mm-hmm. So they can like keep for investment. And then we just put a little diamond, ice around, you know. Nobody ever tried to um, stick you up or nothing? Uh, not really. Thank God. Yeah. <laughs> yeah really. You trying to wish it on me? No, God. I'm not. But you know, TV Johnny's so, well, <laughs> so well. He's so well known. He's and you staying might at know. this hotel. God. <laughs> <laughs> You He's so well known. I could just imagine somebody Tom trying to act like they want something and then you oh, come yeah. and then, you know what I mean? Yeah. It just seems like. I mean, we got angels around us. Mm-hmm. We got, you know, just goons Seek around us protection. too. protection. Yeah. You, know. <laughs> you got to do what you got to do. You got to protect yeah. yourself, man. That's got to be scary, though. What made you want to get back to the rap, Paul Weezy? Slim Thug. He wired me up. You know, just seeing it, how the, the Texas culture has been, you know, so influential or just seeing it, it being so accepted around the world. Just really motivated us to really want to, you know, just go full speed. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? Like how we used to do back in the, back in the days when we were independent. We just putting out mixtapes, having fun with it, uh, giving back to the fans. Like you know, just trapping out the trunk and selling mixtapes out the trunk, doing a lot of meet and greets everywhere, um, taking pictures, just giving back to the fans. Mm-hmm. That's where it all started for us with the Swisher House, and this is just like where we at now too. Just you know, just just the same old thing. My shout out to my boy Slim Thug. You still do a lot of shows? Uh, because, yeah. Okay. Every weekend, of course, we always, you know, two, three days a week on the road, getting it. You, um, and you have other artists now, right, in Houston that you're... Well, you know, I'm, I, I'm not like a CEO or nothing like that, because it seems like being a CEO is like you got to be a babysitter. But there's a lot of other artists that I try to just invest in, like whether it be in, I'm investing my guidance or my connections or just, just whatever, you know, it just the things that Bun B taught me, you know, when he didn't have to, when I was reaching out to him... You know, it it helped me out a whole lot along the way. So those are things, you know, that I'm just trying to give back to the next generation of artists and show them the mistakes we made or maybe encourage them on how to uh, make things last longer or do things better. Encourage them not to get into it with the record labels and it's not you against them. Try to work with the record label because at the end of the day, everybody wants to be successful. And those are things that you get caught up in once you start seeing success because anytime you see success, you start thinking that your way is the right way and anyone else don't know what they're talking about. Right. So, you know, it's just, just, trying to, just trying to spread a positive message to the, the artists coming up out of Houston and you know and it could be from somebody I ain't never met walking up to me giving me a demo or somebody who is putting themselves in a position to where my help really will help them Mm -hmm. because you know like sometimes you try to help somebody and there's nothing you could do your help is not going to help them you know but hey you know it's it's a blessing to be able to be in a position to that somebody even wants your advice or Mm -hmm. guidance you know what I'm saying so it's not something I take lightly or take for granted is Lean not as popular in Houston anymore now like people aren't really on it like that no, nah, it's popular. So? Yeah, it's pretty popular. <laughs> no, because I, mean, I feel like it, I feel like I used to hear about it all the time. And, for, well, for a while, it it, it kind of was real scarce. It was hard to find. But explain yeah. to the people what lean is if they don't know what lean is. Promethazine and codeine. Well, that's easy to say, but how do you make it if you wanted to make? It? I'm just curious. Well, I mean, they man, they be giving they be giving us a hard time every time we talk about it because they say we be snitching on the on it all. But you know, it's really just basically cough syrup. We mix it with our soda. And uh, and we definitely enjoy. So I can go get some Nyquil and pour it in a sprite, and it's a little different. It's little the different. you know I think it's like medic. Yeah, yeah, it's prescription. It's a little know. stronger. So it's than... legal. Technically, it's legal. We I never tried. No I never tried lean. I'm scared of lean. I'm scared of anything that has killed people. Yeah, yeah. Well, I think that's well, the best. Well, I mean, I, I can tell you this. Don't <laughs> <laughs> no, even try it because it, I heard it cuts a lot. I never try, you know. Yeah. But if you never try it, look like it. Is it the best? Yeah. But if it I kills mean, you, it's the best. But more more people die from cigarettes, you know what I'm saying, or, or, or alcohol, alcohol, or you know what I'm saying. Yeah. 
I know, but the it, reason it, I it say was, that because it, it feels like because you know people were dying from it, it kind of put a but little. But see, I don't know who was dying from it because PMC died from a sleep apnea. Mm -hmm. DJ Screw, you know, they they still don't. They didn't ever told exactly what was in his bloodstream and everything. And it, it really what killed people from it is the lifestyle. The, and that was the issue you had. Yeah, it's it's the lifestyle around it of of not getting enough sleep. Not eating right, definitely not exercising. The only water you drink is what's ever in the ice cube. That's the only <laughs> water you drink. You know what I'm saying? So that definitely ain't helping if you if all you're doing. I mean, if all you do is if you drink a a, a bottle of Ciroc every day, you don't drink any water or a half a bottle of Ciroc. You, you gonna die? Yeah, you know, eventually it's gonna catch up to you. Uh -oh. You know, if you're never <laughs> exercising, if you're not eating right, if you're not drinking water, all of those things, if you're not taking care of your that body, Charlene grabs his water right away. <laughs> <laughs> and what is and what does lean do to you? What does it do to the body? It uh it, it mellows you out. You know you'll be it, it, it does different things to different people. Some it, some people it puts them to sleep. Um, but does it make your penis hard? Some yeah, sometimes yeah. sometimes it don't though. It sometimes just depends it on the soft. person. I think. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> give me soft noodle. <laughs> That's the kind of drug. I like the kind of drug that make your penis hard for long yeah. periods of time. Yeah, yeah it'll do it to you. But it's, you know, it's like it, I, I don't know. Maybe it depends on if it's like you first time or you know social drinker or if you do it all the time. Like when we do it all the time. It keep us up. Like we, as long as we got a cup mm -hmm. and, a, and a something to smoke, we're gonna be up all night long. But it don't do that to everybody though. I think that's just only for the seasoned veterans. Gotcha. <laughs> seasoned veterans no, no. drinkers. I'll pass. <laughs> they find me on the floor, knocked out sleeping. <laughs> all right. So TV Johnny, yes, was sir. there a case where, where you had to sue somebody? TV Johnny was in the news recently. No, not really. Somebody, uh, some jeweler sued Ricky, you know, Ross and... Ricky. People just assumed it was you, because they thought they said it was TV Johnny yeah, suing Rick Ross. Us. A lot, I have a lot of artists, a lot of people owe me. Uh -oh. but, so how do you get your money when I, I mean, his, you know, don't I say their name but how do you get your money back, T? Because like, alright, let's say, let's say you say, Envy, I'm gonna take that watch, right? Yeah. And, uh, I pay you half now and half later. Okay. So now when do you get your half later? You gotta, you gotta catch me if you can. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes I pay some thing goes. I have I cannot call a lot of name now, but it's a lot of artists do the same thing. Oh, pay me half and give them money forever. But I'm kind of patient, you know, trying to have time looking for like get together with them, try to see them. When they see me, they run. They remember it. Oh, oh, okay. yeah. I owe you money for a long time. Yeah. And then they pay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But uh, I never ever think about this. You gotta start putting them on blast, Johnny. You gotta be like, hey, when you gonna pay me my money? Yeah, go on Twitter, like, hey, trying to find. I, yeah. Get on the radio. <laughs> That's my half. Nah. You know, but. We, I never, so you, get, so you give people their jewelry and stuff with just them giving you half? It depends. They, uh, it just depends. Do, it depends. Mm -mm. We don't do that. Yeah. 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 It's, it's, it's all about relationships, you know? <laughs> yeah. So is it hard for you as a rapper? Like, hear me. You know, no, jewelry, you better get all your money. We get to him. Yeah. Oh yeah, we, really. we got his credit card on file. Oh, they got a credit card on file. That credit card expired. That credit card expired. <laughs> <laughs> and, I, I, and I don't even worry about it. You know, I know where he works. Oh, yeah, that's right. Good <laughs> <laughs> so, boy. Is it hard for you as a rapper when you know somebody owe y'all some money and then you see them talking about balls that's and I see them out in the club floors? <laughs> I mean, uh, you know, that's when I hit them up for verses though. Gotcha. <laughs> okay, okay. No, nah, okay. I mean, cause. We, we don't never, you know, get in all that. I, I, you know, I keep it. I try to help the artists out too because, you know, with jewelry, it's a hustle. So, you know what I'm saying? It's all, you know, you're hustling people. You're selling people something for two or three times what it's worth. Or, gotcha. Well, you know, you, 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 it's all about it. It's like selling cars or something. You know, it's all about how, if you got the gift to gab, how much you can, you know, talk them up or talk them down. But, mm -hmm. you know, as an artist and trying to not want people to get screwed over too much, me and Johnny just together and see Stone, you know, our whole view is just the, of treating people good. Not, you know, we make we make some money, but we're not making 100% profit on you. You know, we might be making 10 or 15% or, you know, something like that. Or it's, But it, it's, we're not raping you, you know what I'm saying? We're trying to give people a good quality service. And we look at the longevity of it, how long we've been in business, how long we want to be in business. We don't want to mess over people. Even some artists might get upset. Or It's funny, the jury wars is, man, it's funny because the, the jewelers will just go, the, 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 set, the customers will put the jewelers against each other. You got man. to. This that's the game. Yeah, 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 right. yeah, right. that, that, absolutely. I mean, that makes this, sense. This yeah. jeweler said 28,000, yeah. Johnny. You yeah. telling me 29, I'm going to pay 29. They be doing that all the time. I heard they be doing uh, fake jewelry over there. Yeah, they be doing fake gold over there. Mm -hmm. they, you know, this, yeah, I always say I go worse. I bring ye involved. I put ye involved. I'm like, ye, you calling for me. I work it out. Yeah. You can't even call another jeweler and be like, hey, man, you offered this amount of money for. 
you killing the game. You I mean, I, I let them make it. I don't really be tripping. Sometimes if it's like a uh, somebody we know and they just out of line, and you know, we'll just you know we, we'll talk to them. But, but we also concentrate on the quality too. Yeah, you know, we exactly. want to make like the quality. We do manufacture. We make all the stuff we make by ourselves. Right. So that's the quality and the price they can compete. But another tool they always say like afterward. I would do cheaper, I do better after the fact. We already did yeah, the piece, did. or the piece already done, you know. But when, like, if you order the same time, the price you're going to see a big difference. It's less, the only jury about the, the price and the quality of the work. Gotcha. You know, that's So it's the biggest myth with jewelers. Um, I think the biggest thing jewelers say is, you can pay my cost. Yeah, my cost. My you you cost, pay my, my cost. cost. Yeah. Yeah. That's the biggest myth of the jewelers. They be like, yeah, you pay my cost. Yeah, they, right. They, then how they, you they, making money? They mean my, my they, retail they, cost. A lot of them, they don't even make on it. So mm. they have to give another jeweler like us. And, uh, they have a lot of jewelry store or a lot of custom jewelers. They call themselves a jeweler, but they take the order and they pay me. Of course, I make the profits on the top and then they give to them. So that's Then they make the profits cost. right. Yeah. That's a their car price. But to me, I, that piece already got profits. For me already there. People so, be offering to lend me jewelry all the time, but I be too nervous. I'm like, I want to lose something. Yeah, now I'm responsible. Right. I'm like, yeah. forget it. Hey, if you like that, yeah. Yeah, I'm not doing that. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Well, we appreciate you guys for stopping through always. Hey, thank you, man, for having me. Check season. Shout out to anybody out there getting money. Salute. You know, the only reason we invited you is because last time you brought us grills, we thought you'd bring your grills again. <laughs> <laughs> it is the holiday yeah, season. Uh, were, you, were you at the concert with Beyonce in Houston? No, nah, I was out here. Oh, okay. I was, I was there. Putting it down you was there? She was back there taking yeah. pictures with everybody from Houston? Yeah. Shout out she to Beyonce. She cheated us, you know. She got a VIP ticket and uh, the sex and And the good thing is why after the show, on the way out, she stopped, you know, in the back and say hi to us. Say hi to everyone because mm -hmm. he's supposed to like go straight to the airport to get the fly. <coughs> mm -hmm. But on the way out, she just stopped by and say hi to everyone. That's dope. So that's she still a, hold Houston down. Yeah. yeah. They treat her good in Houston. Yeah. Yeah. They, you know, at first I remember a, a while back when the Destiny Child first came out, it was a big concert, sold out, no limit. It was like in maybe '99, sometime around there, when No Limit was just man, just on top. And then Houston, of course, was a real big hub for No Limit. So mm -hmm. they they did a big sold out show, you know, at the at the at the Compact Center where the Rockers played. And for some reason, Destiny Child was also on the, the like the opening act for the show. So it was like. Real super hood with all the you know with the no limit, and then all of a sudden you got Destiny Child. So when Destiny Child opened up, I remember them getting booed, and I remember being ashamed of my city, thinking, man, how can we, how can anyone boo them? They're from Houston, right. they're in our own city, and we should be saluting them because there's not a lot of uh, R&B singers coming out of Houston, or, or and it, then for them to do what they've done just goes to show that man, she really earned her love in Houston with how, how she gets treated now, how she always sells out the rodeo when she comes and performs at, or always sells out a show. They love her in Houston. Everybody loves. Yeah, she got booed in New York one time, pretty bad, out in Long Island. I mean, boo booed, but you know, she always, she always, she they always kept their head up and kept it moving. Yeah, yeah. We appreciate you guys for joining us. See Stone Paul Wall, TV Johnny. It's the Breakfast Club. Good morning.